Stephen Key here, and I have a special guest today. Joey, where are you from? Western Kentucky. And I'm going to guess you're an inventor. Am I right or wrong? I, I guess so. <laughs> well, tell I me got, first. I got a licensing deal. You got a licensing deal. So I guess you are. Okay. I guess I am. All right. Before we get into that real quick, what do you do for a day job? Can you tell us? Uh, I work in the coal field. The coal fields. That's a pretty tough job, isn't it? It can be. Uh, I actually worked for coal companies for about 18 years, and uh, now I'm a federal mine inspector. Okay. And when do you have time to come up with ideas? During the, during the day? I mean, you're working. How do you come up with ideas? They just, they just hit you. You, you cannot sit down and say, I'm going to invent something. It's just got to hit you. Or it does make you. So you come up with ideas. So how do you reach out to companies if you're working, if you have a full-time job? When do you find time to do that? Before work, after work. Um, you just got to, if you want it, you got to go get it. All right, good. Okay, so tell me, once you came up with an idea, and you started to reach out to companies, how did they treat you? Did they get back to you? Was it easy or was it hard? It was It was pretty tough. Uh, Got to be thick-skinned. Um, a lot of companies won't even return your calls. Uh, you just got to lay in there with them until you get a no, and then, and then move on. So how do you deal with all the rejection? Does it bother you or not? At first, it bothered me bad especially after I get an initial interest, send me a prototype and you send it and they're like, no, nah, we're not going to do it. So it's that, that kills you. So how many rejections did you get before you got a comp before a company said, yes, we want your idea. I have really, I don't even know. Uh, several went through several companies. Um, you're probably talking 60, 70 companies, maybe. Wow. So you got to be pretty tough to do this? Yeah. <laughs> yep. Okay. So how does it feel once you got a yes? How did it feel? It's, uh, you can't explain it. I think everybody in the world needs a yes. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, when I first received my first yes, it was, it's never been better. The first one's always the best one. And yeah. It almost comes out of the blue that you don't expect it. Uh, it did for me. I I just didn't know when it was going to come. I couldn't plan on it. I love all my ideas, but when one of them finally got a yes, it kind of surprised me a little bit. I, it caught me off guard. Yeah, it did me too. And uh, to be honest with you, on this one in particular um, thing I've got going here, it uh, I was just about out of gas. I mean, I was just about ready to throw my hands up and say, you know what, better luck next time, we'll move on, and I got the phone call. All right. You know, I think that happens to a lot of people that yeah. when you least expect it, and I think sometimes when you're ready to give up is when you get maybe a green light or maybe you get that yes that keeps you going for the next round. So you're going to keep coming up with ideas? I'm going to, yes. Yeah, I'm not going to stop this. And getting a no is, what, what about the next time? Is the no going to hurt as much the next time around or what? Well, maybe if I send the prototype in and then they turn around and then say no, it might, it probably will sting. It's probably going to sting, but not as bad. I get it now. Well, I'm very impressed that that you, you you've got a full-time job. It's a hard job, but you found time to call the companies, you put the work in, and you got the results. It wasn't easy, but you got it. So you know what that's like. So congratulations, Joey. Good job. Thank you. Thank you. Is there any one thing that you could tell another inventor to give them maybe some motivation? Is there anything at all? I, I went through this. I went through this. Paul was my coach, and I talked to him a couple of different times. It just seemed like everything had stalled out, and I was just, like I said, I was just ready to just give it up and move on to something else. Uh, just, 
be sure you have exhausted everybody that you can come up with. And, so really uh, don't give up. Don't give up. I'm not saying uh, everything's going to make it, uh, of course, because it's not. But um, give, it a, give it your fair effort. Give it, a, give it a good try. All right. Well, Joey, thank you very much for your time. And uh, I cannot wait to, to see what your product is. Everybody's going to be looking forward to it. And once again, congratulations. Thank you. 